Hello and uh, welcome to this first video that I'm doing. Sorry about the quality. Um, most of my, my good camera and everything and that my boys have had hold of and it's not in the best of working conditions. But anyway, so I got a text today to say that this has turned up from up as you can see on the desk and I thought I'd just do a quick unboxing. I've got a rough idea what it is um, but I thought we'd quickly crack it open and um, I'll show you as well. So sit back and enjoy. Cheers. Sorry about that and sorry about the state of my room as you can see I've got I've got a bit of everything in here. Star Wars, computer games, figures, bits and things. Some spiders up there, lots of books, transformers, oh, PCs down there, more board games, CDs, other bits and pieces, more board games, a couple of guns, more games, yeah, just stuff and this is just a little bit of it, um, but anyway, maybe I'll get round to putting it out one day. So, I've been waiting for this one for quite a while, quite excited about this, it is... This war of mine, the board game. Let's get this out onto the table. Bear with me a second, I'll have to put you down again. So, here we are, there's the board game, an express UPS envelope, and stretch goals. Definitely, it's just anywhere from three to five months or something like that. So, you know, you've got people saying they're going to cancel it and they're never going to use Twitter again, uh, Twitter, they're never going to use Kickstarter again and that. So, hey ho, that's down to them, I guess, isn't it? So, in here, um, I can't remember what the stretch goals were, to be honest. Um, Got some funky dice. Got some. He's yeah. Yeah. There you go. Uh, and this little additional pamphlet thing. Guess there's no harm in them. Um, putting in a bit of advertising for their next game. Yep, invited to join yeah, Lord of Hellas. Hello. There you go. Got pre shade technology on it, they're going on about. And it says on the back that um, it's a small scale sample. Final miniatures of the monsters will be even larger scale. And there's a bit, like I say, looks a bit Warhammerish. Gather armies, build, train, temples. There you go. Lots of different bits and pieces there if you like that sort of thing. I might give it a look. Um, figure's not too bad actually. And it says it's going to be on the back of this box. It says they've got a pre paint technology now, and this game will include miniatures with the highest levels of detail I've never seen before in a board game. That's a big, uh, big claim. So there you go, that's going to be there, the next one. Back to this war of mine. There you go, extra bit. So then we've got the, the additional cards that were unlocked. Um, I didn't go for the, you could get these painted. These are specials. There's uh, a goat, get some milk, kill the goat. Angel statue. She might be Jesus or Gabriel or something. Not really up with my religious stuff, but hey. So there you go. There you go. And then you've got the additional characters. Oh, there you 
go. So a little boy or girl with a hat and a ball. Soldier. Thug. Looter. Homeless guy, not bad. There's a dog, got a pet, kids, bits, pieces, and stuff like that. So, right on to the next bit. Um, cracks this open, see what we've got, and it is contains a letter saying, Great honor to deliver the brief message that I'm basically explaining about the ball game piece of work that exists because of our support, you know. Um, goes on to say about this just being obviously the Kickstarter edition everything um, they hope will exceed our expectations it says they've used off they uh, used additional funds offered by our kind backers to prepare a few surprise gifts that are our way of saying an additional thank you for all your support and feedback in the stretch gold box besides what was promised during the initial campaign you can campaign you'll find the additional items an additional set of custom high quality dice produced by Q workshop a secret package that can only be opened after you've successfully finished the game a promotional miniature from the upcoming laws of Hellas game and a free small expansion called our street um, that's nice of them additional stuff that we didn't think we was going to get so that explains a little bit better what's in the in that stretch box that we just looked at Maybe I'll redo that. Um, and then there's this. So. This contains. This is the secret thing that I was on about. Open only after you manage to successfully finish the campaign. To be honest with you, to be honest with you, don't come back to my channel to look for that. Um, all these games that you can see here, stacked up all around the room, I've barely finished any of them. Um, I play them, but I've hardly finished any of them due to time and play computer games to do whatever as well. So it could be a long time before I actually get around to opening this, and I'm sure someone else will do that um, way before me. Additional little card and numbered envelope out of the city, including the sewers and the orphans of war books. So that's what the miniatures from earlier. War of Mine board game. H1, H2, back to the game. So a little bit of story. Lower the hunger of the characters present by one. Go back to the game. Read a little bit more. So then we can see what that's to go with. It's an additional, an additional bit, and then you've got the sewers as well. I think this game comes with a ridiculous amount of sort of um, scenarios that you can play through as well, which they've been writing. And then you get a magazine all about the stretch goals. So the 13th character, one miniature and a card. Back of the board, got the additional bit on the board now. So you got that. That was a nice. Then it opened up farmers, dog and a cat. Desperate measures, extra seven cards, then another hidden objects of six cards. This is what we just looked at, the heart of the city, one miniature, five cards, and the rule book. Um, Orphans of War, like in the game, the PS game came out, PC game, whatever you want, came out with the uh, additional bits. Alternative dice set, secret package, or strange packet, enclosed envelope. It can be opened and used only once. We won't tell you what it is inside. Should you decide that your situation is dire and the time has come to make one last desperate effort, simply tear the envelope open and check what's inside. It's obviously a decent reward. Uh, sewers add-on. That's quite a nice little touch, this actually. Tactics mode. That's what this is additional little maps for gameplay tactics turns so it's just more stuff that goes with the game but well done to them I think the amount of money I paid 
for all of this stuff to be honest was was well worth it well pleased right and then next rip the game open itself just came nicely wrapped as always you've got see the front of the box told you who it is what the game is who the studio is back of the box just story that must be told shows you a picture of some of the stuff that's included um, reckons one to six players anywhere between 45 to 120 minutes um, have to give it a go and see what that's actually like I mean the Dark Souls game just came out and that was kind of quiet I think it's sort of got 90 minutes written on it I can't remember I've yet to play it yet to even open it to be honest just checked it but um, yeah I think a lot of people have said that it was actually a lot a lot longer than that but that might be the whole campaign or whatever like I say not played that one so here we go this was the big this was the big bit the book of scripts thousand scripts is it um, right. about the rules how to use the book of scripts number of players and then just realms and realms and pages and pages very small print the buildings adjoining the church are mostly occupied by women children and the elderly it doesn't matter what they believe being among others gives them a sense of safety a false sense as they approach another building we quickly discover that something's wrong a rough looking man stands at the door of one of the houses from inside we can hear leave her alone she's just a t child take me this is answered with mocking laughter you're too old an older woman and young children are thrown out of the house. The woman wails by the door, holding a young child tightly. We can hear grunts and weeping coming from inside the house. Oh, nice. Nice scenario to start with. Journal. Do you want to play through? This will offer, this is basically instructions. Setting up bits and pieces contained within the game. Got that a save sheet. You never get that many of these, but they, there's a few in there. Probably 10, 15. So if you're playing a campaign, you can save where you are. The last day. This is another scenario. Endless night. A couple of extra scenarios there, not in the book counters nice nice thick card counters nice sheet one of three this contains if you played the game you've got your meds your alcohol coffee beans lock picks some ammo if you manage to find it how fatigued you get if you're cold same on the front and back whether you find some raw food some extra wish uh, weapons pistols hatchets shovel Found a book, chemicals, shells, ammo, more food, all your mechanical parts, how ill you are. Boarding up the rooms. Very nice. Cigarettes. Yeah, good. And then a few more additional bits. Some blank tokens there. Blank tokens. Might just be to fill it out easier for me to make. Herbs, filters, books, bandages, alcohol. More boarding ups. Locations. Misery wounds. Two different coloured wounds there as well. And misery. Liar. So yeah. Onto the board. Nice big hefty board. Do that in a minute. And here you go, even comes with a tray, so you can stack everything nicely afterwards. Room 
remove this card, rubble remnants, dig through it's like dig in if you've got a shovel requires a shovel or requires two characters so that's like when you want to dig and move things there's the addition, the standard dice player tokens, colour coded gears chunks of wood looks like or something Figure tokens, quite a few in there, and the additional ones should be in there as well. Didn't see a cat though, unless it was cat or dog. Night raid cards, shuffle this card back into the colours deck. Note this deck, the black, oh. blind and merciless faint. Night raids and all the different residents, chapter one. Probably need to unwrap them for you, but I've only got one hand. Gives a bit of a story, and then tells you how to do it and what you've got to do after you resolve the card, remove it from the game. Character cards. Hmm. So there you have it for the components and the cards. One last thing is this board, which looks pretty big. And to be honest, I don't know if I'm going to have room in here. But let's have a look. Wow! And there's the board. One side of the board. Sound, how noisy you are, where they are, explains the dice, explanation, these are obviously where your cards go, discard piles poking about, hole you can go through, your ladders, oh, narrative actions, rubble and furniture. That you're going to need to move with a shovel or extra people. Very nice. Done a very good job of this actually. And then flick it over. It is now two sided. And this is the advanced side. bit of a change on how much noise you can make straight away notice that cold different bits and pieces good